There are only two requirements for adding AngularJS to a web page. First, you need to add a script tag pointing to Angular.js. Angular.js is the only script file that you need for the core Angular features because Angular has no other dependencies on other libraries. This is the only script file we need except for the script files that we might write for ourselves. The second requirement is that you need to add an ng-app attribute somewhere in your HTML. ng-app in Angular terminology is called a directive, and it is just one of many directives that Angular provides. The ng prefix is short for Angular. So whenever you see ng in your code or in documentation or in a website name or a bumper sticker, think Angular. ng-app is what we call the application directive. It is a special directive that Angular looks for inside of your HTML, and if it finds it, Angular will bootstrap itself. So it initializes itself and it jumps into action to start managing the page. Let's try this. Now I'm back on the Plunker landing page, and do make sure that you go to plnkr.co, so the word Plunker without any vowels and a .co, not a .com. Now that I'm on the landing page, I'll click Launch the Editor again. And Plunker makes it very easy to get started with Angular because here on the right-hand side is a list of popular packages that I might want to use inside of the HTML that I'm building. And the most popular package is angular.js. If for some unthinkable reason Angular doesn't appear here, I could always search the packages and I'll be able to find angular.js. And I want to use the most current version of Angular, so I'll just click on this icon right after angular.js. And what Plunker will do is add a script tag to my HTML file to reference Angular. Let me close this external libraries pane by clicking on the second icon and formatting the source code a little bit so that you can see, yes, here's a script tag with a source that points ultimately to an angular.js file that is hosted on some other server, code.angularjs.org. And that's fine, that's going to work for us. And that's the only script I need. My other requirement though is to add an ng-app directive somewhere in my markup. Some people like to add that directly to the HTML element. I could also add it somewhere else inside of the page, like on the body element, but you do only get one ng-app directive per page. And Angular is only going to take control of the section of DOM where that ng-app directive applies. So in this case, it will apply to everything in the body I won't be able to use Angular expressions and features outside of the body tag. But with the script in place and my ng app directive in place, let me open up the preview window. And what we'll see is a web page that doesn't look any different than it did before I added Angular. It still just displays hello plunker, and there's nothing that tells me that Angular is running. But what can we do now? Well, the other night, my oldest son comes to me and says, Dad, what's 843 divided by 42? And although I could come up with a close approximation in my head really quickly. It just so happened that I was working on an Angular application at the moment. And so I just went into the page that I was working on and put in this expression, 843 divided by 42, and I put that inside of double curly braces. And because I was working on an Angular application, Angular found that particular binding expression, that's what we call it, and it output into the web page the answer I was looking for, which was roughly 20.07. So these double curly braces, or what some people would call mustaches or handlebars, they are binding expressions in Angular. Angular looks for these things and tries to evaluate the expression inside. And you might want to do simple division or addition or subtraction, but later in the course we'll do much more interesting things because you can also build binding expressions that look at data that you have retrieved or computed from some web server. And that's what would allow us to build charts and tables of information for our users. But because this is showing up on the web page, it's a really good indication to me that Angular is up and it's working. If, for example, I were to delete the script reference, or if I were to take out the ng-app directive, now I no longer see the result of that expression on my web page. I just see the literal text that I typed in, which is double curly braces and 843 slash 42. Also, if I were to have another piece of markup, like another div, and the ng-app directive existed here, I would still see just the literal text that I typed in because Angular is not in charge of this section of the DOM on line 13. It's only in charge 
of the div that starts on line 14 and closes on line 16. So if I move my expression inside of there, Angular is in control. Angular finds that binding expression, evaluates it, and puts the result on the screen for me. So the script tag and the ng-app directive, those are the only two things that we need to get started with Angular. But if we're going to build anything interesting, we're going to need to learn a few more things about Angular. Also, this environment that we're operating in, Plunker, and a few JavaScript conventions that Angular follows. So let's continue our discussion of Angular by looking at the Plunker editor.